Hey guys, so we finished our picture on, well, our object, sorry, on Illustrator. So now we want to start putting it onto the laser web, which is the program I have just here. Um, this actually converts it into um, a readable G code for the laser cutter. So all I really need to do, so that's the opening of the file. Um, unfortunately, I have to do this on my laptop as the laser cutter is in use. But it's, it's really the same thing. I mean, you don't have to connect to the um, laser cutter, so make sure it's connected. Um, make sure you center your job um, but basically I just want to show you guys how to actually import the job into the program um, because it's quite a simple process apart from that so um, we want to add our document opening that one that we just made before and so it's going to open it um, our object so what if it was on the laser cutter you'd actually see the little dull blue circle up the top here uh, indicating that the laser is actually at its home position um, and this is somewhere out in the middle of the table so um, I can actually open up this so as you can see it's made up of a bunch of layers and as I click on these layers it shows you exactly what ones they're for so um, we do have double ups so if you do have double ups it's generally a good idea to um, get rid of those you obviously don't need more than one layer um, of the same thing um, I think so. We've got that one, we've got that one, we've got that one, we've got that one. We don't need two of that. All right, cool. So now we've only got one layer of each. So all those, um, and that's all covered. So we want to make sure we're actually identifying these layers. So that one, um, as you can see there, it is a not coloured in blue, um, but we want that whole circle there to be rasted. So the inside of it's going to be all rasted which means it's going to be etched um, it's going to be a bit of a disturbed finish on the surface of the acrylic so I can click on that and drag it down here and now you can see that it's actually created its own little um, uh, job kind of thing down here so um, once, well, we don't want it laser cut so I can click on that and I want to that one okay and you can see up there it, it shows you what it's going to do so it's going to do all those different lines okay so filling it in you want to make sure you name your job so i'll call that small small raster cool um now the positive of this is i mean if you're using this program you can click on this green section there and it'll actually show you all right i'm using acrylic so i'm going to output the settings for acrylic so if I, as i scroll down you'll see that yep laser power at 20 percent um cut rate um, 1500. Uh, I actually am going to up the power though. I'm going to up that to 80%. Um, okay, so and that's that's actually all done. So it's quite a simple process as you can see. Last thing I need to do is actually generate that and then make that smaller and we'll move on to our next one. So this one we actually want to cut. Okay, so remembering how yin yang kind of looks. That will be shaded, this will be cut out, and the rest of that will be shaded. So we've got this next part here, um, and like it says there, it says laser cut, so it's already set for us. Um, I can manually, so cut out small. All right, nice to name it, just so you, when you've got a few, you know what they're called. Um, laser cutting power is at 100%. Passes are going to be two passes. Um, cut rate is 100 all right, cool. So if you are manually putting them in, that's what you need to do. Um, last thing you might need to do down here, so it, it senses the machine, and so it'll ask you also for a um, cutting height. And for that, you just need a digital vernier or something and measure how how high the top of your acrylic is off the bottom of the actual, mach actual machine. Um, but that, that that's that part done. Um, so we can generate that. Fantastic. So we've got that one, that one. Last one is, so that one's fine like that. We need a raster this one. So I drag this one down here. Um, all left clicking and dragging. And so it says laser cut again. I want to change that. I'm going to raster that. Fantastic. I'm going to do the cheat again. Do that. Double check. Always double check your settings. Um, especially if you're going to want to change stuff. So I want a bit of a deeper raster. So I chuck up the power a bit. Still only going to pass it once and have the cut rate quite high. Um, so for that, um, and that's that all done. So we'll generate. I like to generate after each one. I don't know why. Um, it does produce the G code for what you've just done. So I guess that's one reason to do it. Um, you don't have to rego it. So last one is the outer circle. So drag that one down, and we've got that one. And we obviously want to laser cut that. Um, double checking that we've got that set on the right thing because sometimes it does like to change. So you'll see laser fill path 
it does actually like to change it to that um, when I actually want that. So we've got laser cut. Um, we're going to double check our settings. So remember cut rate, we're making that 100. Um, passes, 2. Um, because I'm using black acrylic for this, it's different colour um, light kind of wavelengths and stuff react differently. Um, so yeah, circle, cut. Alright, making sure we name that as well. Um, and that's that all done. Generate. Fantastic. So that's everything generated. So that's all of our jobs. Um, if I minimise that, we can see all of our jobs. So we've got our small raster, cut out small. Um, we've got our other raster, okay, so the big raster. Um, and we've got a cutout circle. I didn't actually name the large raster, which is a bit unfortunate. It would have been better to see. Um, if I go now down to controls, so now that if I've had it all set up and stuff, I can just go click run job, and that's actually the job done, and it'll start cutting it out. There we go, cutting out with the laser. You can see as the laser cut is cutting, you can follow it on the actual program as well. Um, that light blue circle moving around the edge of my object is actually the uh, head of the, or the representation of the head of the laser cutter.